guys, welcome back to a new video, and today I'm going to be showing you the 10 essential plugins that you need to have on Roblox Studio, alright? So the first one is, um, it's called 3D Text Maker, so, uh, it's very simple to use, just, uh, when you click activate cursor, or, uh, it will insert a text, and you can change the text of it, so... We can do subscribe, and we can also change the font, something like that. And we can also change the color of the text, uh, the size, the thickness, and uh, yeah. So this is pr pretty much the plugin. Uh, it's uh, very, very essential um, if you want to make uh, like shops, and then place a uh, like a shop text on it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, th that was the first plugin. Also, uh, just to say, all the plugins of this video will be in the description. So if you want to download them, uh, feel free. All right. The second plugin is uh, Part to Water. So it's uh, very simple to use. Just uh, you can make a part into your game. I'm gonna make two because there is two different types of water. And when you activate the plugin. It's uh, it's uh, looking like this. You can choose the style of the water to cartoon or realistic. The cartoon looks like this. It's it looks very good, like that. And the realistic one looks like this. So yes, if you want to make like an island um, map or uh, something like an ocean or something like that, this plugin will help you a lot. The third plugin is Roundify. So this is a GUI um, plugin and uh, it's pretty useful. So if you actually add like a uh, text button and if you activate the plugin, uh, I don't think you see the plugin on the screen right now, but it's a, uh, it's a tiny page where you can choose uh, some settings and when you click round, roundify, it um, it roundifies the button, so it looks a lot better than before. So this is after, and this is before. It's a lot better. So yeah, pretty useful plugin if you want to make your GUI look good. The fourth plugin I really like is a tool grip editor. So this is a uh, pretty useful uh, when you, for example, when you have a tool in your game. For example, I'm going to insert a sword. And, um, actually, no, I'm going to make my own tool. So, for example, when, if you make, like, a tool. So, if you just... I'm just going to make, a, like, a quick tool. Uh, boom, insert a tool. Put a part on it. And put in the starter pack. So, uh... I'm going to make it long, actually, so I can see that it works. Boom. And if you play the game, and you can see that when I hold it, it's uh, horizontal, okay? But if I want it to be, like, for example, vertical, um, this plugin will, will be very useful. So if you place your tool into the workspace and uh, select the plugin, you see the position when you hold the tool, okay? It's like a preview. And then if you uh, click edit tool grip, you can actually uh, change, you can actually change like where you want it to be uh, hold. Uh, for example, if I want it to be vertical, you know, I can do this, boom. And now if you play, oh yeah, I forgot to play in the starter pack, but if you play now, you should see that it will, uh, my avatar will hold it, uh, correctly. Like this. So yeah, this is a very useful plugin. Now, I don't really know if you can see, uh, the, uh, the plugins, like, uh, on the, uh, recording. But, uh, yeah. The fifth plugin, uh, that I really, really like is called, uh, it's called interface tools now this is another GUI um, type uh, plugin 
So when you activate it, you have a bunch of uh, of uh, options. You have gradients, you have buttons, patterns, uh, icons for your uh, for your text button. So with this plugin, I can uh, insert a button really fast. I just click on it, and boom, it's in the game. I can also insert uh, patterns, like I said, like this, and also gradients, and it's very useful. As you can see, when you have the run, you can just insert it into the button. Insert for a pattern. You can make uh, something like that. And it's pretty cool for to. Uh, it's pretty cool to uh, to make uh, cool looking buttons. As you can see the uh, gradient. If I make it white, you'll see better. This is the gradient I inserted, and yeah, it's pretty cool if you want to make cool buttons. The seventh plugin is called uh, Archimedes, and when you insert a part, you can actually change the angle you want it to uh, to be um, rotated. So it's pretty hard to explain, but let me just show you. So it looks like this, and you can change if you want it to be in this angle, this one, this one, or this one, or this one. Pretty useful if you want if you're um, if you're lazy to. Uh, to uh, like align the parts correctly, you can just take the plugin and then you can you can click render once and we'll do the circle for you. So this is a very very useful plugin. Uh, I pretty much use it all the time, and uh, you can do that for uh, everything. Okay, you can you can do it also uh, instantly. Boom like that, it makes the circle, and uh, it's very easy. Um, and uh, very useful if you want to make like sharp circles. Okay, and c also uh, you can change uh, the angle if you want it to be like 90 degrees. Boom, 90 degrees. If you want to be 45 degrees, and etc. So this is uh, the Archimedes plugin. The eighth plugin is a uh, brush tool. Now brush tool is a pretty useful plugin if you want to make like maps like like rpg maps games types uh if you want to do um insert uh like uh grass on your game for example also you can do it with trees too uh but uh the plugin looks like this i don't know if you can see it again but if you click activate brush you can uh you can act you can actually insert trees now there's a lot of them right now but you can change the spacing you can change the spacing you can also change the radius of the circle it's very cool right you can do the same with the grass and you can do you can also do um, with both of them with uh, trees and grass so it's pretty useful if you want to make these types of maps all right all right places trees uh, automatically and grass too all right it's very useful so um, without this plugin you need to uh, if you want to make these types of map it's very annoying because you need to like duplicate the grass and trees uh, every time and it's so annoying but with this plugin you can just do that so yeah uh, very useful all right so the ninth plugin is called gap fill is this one and uh, it's a uh, very very useful if you want to make gaps like the, the name of the plugin is for example if you have two parts like this and you want it and you want them to be uh, to have no gap between them you can just choose the surface of the part so this and so and uh, take this one too and boom look it does uh, something like this and now the uh, surfaces or uh, touching so yeah it's a uh, pretty useful okay uh, I'm gonna do it again for example if the part is like there and with the plugin I can just select the surfaces and boom there we go so it's very useful all right so now the uh, the last plugin uh, is called health bar now this inserts 
automatically a health, a GY into your game. So if you want to make like RPG games, you don't even need to script the health bar. You can just click on the plugin and we'll do that for you. So yeah, that's very cool. And uh, it works, all right? Uh, it, it, re it actually works if you play. Uh, wait, I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, my health bar is full. And now if I go to my uh, to my uh, player, and if I change the health to 40, it updates, as you can see. 40, 50, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and i see you in the next one. Again, all the plugins will be in the description if you want to download them. Very easy, just install them in Roblox, and, uh, and uh, you should have them on this uh, tab right here. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and i see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>